Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Tuesday, the 16th day of August, 2022. We're looking at taking your place at the top. That's our topic today. Definitely every one of us wants to get to the top in the life. The Bible says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. Thought for the day. If you are destined for the top, you must make up your mind to take your place at the top by force. Now, our anchor scripture makes it clear that as children of God, we are created for the top. Our destiny is existence in the high places of the earth. We are not designed for the ground level. Therefore, if we are destined for the top, you must do what? Take your place at the top. You must make up your mind to take your place at the top by force. Matthew eleven twelve 12 says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Please understand this, that if the high places of the earth is your destiny, you must violently react against existence in mediocrity. For example, if a grown-up man is addressed as a woman, he would definitely get annoyed and react violently because he is not a woman. The man would be furious at the person who called him a woman and would ask, why are you calling me a woman? Do you see feminine characteristics or features in me? If the man is hot-tempered, he may even slap the person who called him a woman because he would consider it as demeaning. This is because it's an abuse of masculinity to address a man like that. Please note that being a woman is not lower level. We're just saying that there is a difference. There is a difference as in uh, our common humanity. All right? Now, in the same manner, if you are meant to be flying at the top and anyone tries to give you a wrong identity, you must react, determined to refuse and reject low-level existence and take your place at the top by all godly means. That is who you are and that is where you belong. So remember this, that if you are destined for the top, you must make up your mind to take your place at the top by force. Praise the Lord. What assignment do we have today? First of all, reject low-level existence. Secondly, take your place at the top by all means. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I reject the ground-level existence. I receive the grace to take my place at the top. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I declare prophetically upon you today that every force that has kept you at the ground level in life is broken off your life now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And part of getting to the top is being born again. If you are not yet born again or your ways are not right with God and you want Jesus to make you right, then pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. I believe the Lord has heard that prayer and answered you. And you are free indeed from every shackle of sin and shackle of limitations in Jesus' name. And I pray for you today. I declare the help of God released upon you. And it's your birthday. I want to wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.